All right, so I want to do a video on misrepresentation in films about certain entities in folklore. So, to begin with, we have Pazuzu, or Zozo for short. Now, in popular film culture like The Exorcist, Pazuzu is claimed to be an evil demon. Well, this is not strictly true. Pazuzu is a Babylonian deity known as the Lord of the Southwest Wind, known for bringing famine during dry seasons and locusts during rainy seasons. Pazuzu was invoked in atrocrotic amulets which combat the powers of his rival, the malicious goddess Lamashtu, who was believed to cause harm to mother and child during childbirth. Although Pazuzu himself is considered to be an evil spirit by many, he drives and frightens away other evil spirits, therefore protecting humans against plagues and misfortunes. So, in other words, people in ancient times would place a statue in the home to ward off negative and evil forces, just like a church would use a gargoyle. However, to be fair, if you watch The Exorcist 2, The Heretic, you'll notice it's Pazuzu who helps the priest find the shaman in Africa. Some may be confused as to why Pazuzu would help him do this, well, not if you're aware of who Pazuzu is. It's, you know, it's a shame they don't develop on the idea, for example, because Pazuzu is not the deep, you know, for example, the Pazuzu is not demon possessing the girl, but it is a force who is present, a guide to aid those who want to help the girl, you know, so it's a shame because the possibilities where they could have gone with that idea, you know, is endless for, you know, for the films and stuff, so. Hence why there's a little bit of confusion in that film, like, why are you helping him find the shaman in Africa to, to defeat you, you know, to make sense. Um, so yes, I'm very sceptical when people claim to encounter Zozo because no harm would come to them if such a being existed, because he's not a demon, he's a Babylonian deity who protected people from other evil spirits. Now, the other one is Papa Legba, who especially in American horror stories depicted as an evil demon who people in voodoo bargain with. Again, this is wrong, and also the attitudes toward vo voodoo are misfounded. Voodoo isn't evil, it's a religion of sorts. Now, Papa Legba is a spirit in Haitian voodoo who serves as an intermediary between the spirit world and the human world. He stands as a spirit. He stands at the spiritual crossroad and gives or denies permission to speak with the spirits of the underworld, and is, belie and is believed to speak all human languages. In Haiti, he is the great public speaker. Legba facilitates uh, communication, speech, and understanding. He is commonly associated with dogs and is depicted as a kind old man who is accompanied by a stray dog. He's a dog lover. As you can see, he doesn't, he doesn't sound evil, more like a go-between for people to communicate with the spirit world or to contact dead loved ones. And, you know, obviously not he's not some devil figure who may make a bargain with, like an American horror story. It's just not accurate. So... Again, just like Pazuzu, a misrepresented character, mainly thanks to Hollywood, which is no surprise, as America is overrun by Christianity, of which, you know, their level of Christianity is still, their mindset of it is still stuck in the Dark Ages, so anything that's not Christian, you know, or seen as Christian is seen as evil, so I think there would be an uproar if Pazuzu or Papa Ligba were depicted as heroes or good spirits. So yeah, so, um, just want to spread a bit of awareness on the subject. It always irks me when I see films do it because it's not accurate and obviously it causes a lot of, you know, fear and paranoia all sort of thing. But anyway, um, so yeah, and also before I go, go, um, voodoo isn't evil and Satanists don't actually believe in the real Satan. You know, it's just Hollywood, Hollywood representation. It's false, you know. So anyway, so thanks for the watching. If you like my video, then hit the like. If you haven't, then please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything that I'm uploading in the future. So um, anyway, thanks again for your support and I'll see you all soon.